You're not coming to Odaba, you're coming to Jesus. Bwana asifiwe. Pastor Esther, please. You will never regret this decision. Intinia Maina can tell you this. And if you are remaining behind there without Christ, praise the Lord. If you are remaining behind there without Jesus, when the time of judgment shall come, don't regret. Come forth. It is not about religion. Did we tell you we are this religion? We are not of any religion, but we are of Jesus. We never told you we are Catholic, we are Protestant, we are Pentecostal. We are of the tribe of Judah. Praise the Lord. I still feel in my spirit. Thank you so much, son. Come, keep coming. Keep coming. And in the, in the other session, we are going to have a counseling session. You need to write down your questions. Every questions that you have. Every questions that you have. Please write them down. Don't write your name. We are going to answer all your questions in the next session. We shall have Pastor Esther lead you in a prayer. But still I see, please don't walk out. Eh? Don't walk out. This is not a time that you can afford to have the boys and girls walking out. This is a very important time in Muero High School. Very, very important. We are letting Jesus into our boat. We are letting Jesus. In the morning, I told you, you have to divorce yourself and remove everything and allow Christ to come inside your life. And everything is going to be, you know, you're going to receive a, 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 a speed anointing. Hallelujah. A speed that, you know, my boy is very sharp. He gets, he gets 400, 400, 400. And yesterday I went into his room and he was doing mathematics because me, so I went into my boy's room and he was very, very fast in mathematics. And I tell him, man, please stop. He told me, mom, this is nothing. And when he goes, he gets an A in mathematics. I, went, I want him to be a pilot and I will also speak the anointing of a pilot here. Maybe the boy that I'm paying for the air ticket will become a pilot. Who knows? He didn't know whether he can get in, even in Form 1. Today he is an engineer. The things God is doing in these boys and girls, even the neighbors, Watashanga, Pastor Esther. Anyone else for Jesus? Anyone else for Jesus? What else was if you were? Pamela, you'll be praying from that side as Pastor Esther is praying, then you will release. You shall be releasing after Pastor Esther has uh, Help them to pray the sinner's prayer. Thank you. I want you to pray this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I give my life to you. Today, I believe that you are the son of God. You died on the cross for the forgiveness of my sins. I give you my life today. Forgive me every sin. From today, I give my life to you, that you may help me. I want to know you in a personal way, that I may be at a position to do exploits. Lord Jesus, come into my life and transform me and change me. From today, I will live for you and I will serve you. Thank you, Father, for your forgiveness. Amen. I want you to lift up your hands before God. Everybody just lift up your hands. Lifting up your hands is a way of surrender. And I want to release this blessing upon your life. An engineer has spoken to you. I want you to know that it, all things are possible. When Jesus comes in your life, that, that Lord, the Lord has already come in your life because you have invited him. He is the one that is going to work in you and cause exploits to happen. He is the one that is going to come uh, to work inside of you and is going to help you to become an engineer, to become a doctor. He's going to change everything around. And I want you to believe in him. Focus your eyes on Jesus 
because he is able. The Bible says, blessed is she, because after believing, she received the things that were told of her from God. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I thank you this morning. I glorify your name. Thank you, Father, because of this young, uh, 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 this young people, Father, they have given your life, their lives unto you. And I commit them before your presence. I pray for them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, that everlasting Father, you are going to turn everything around in their lives. I release a blessing upon them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray that from this very moment, there is going to be a turnaround in their lives. In the name of Jesus, Father, I pray that you are going to change their grades. Those that have been getting D's, you are going to change that to an A. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, because I know that Jehovah, all things are possible. Lord, I pray for your help. May you remember them, my Father. May you help them in the name of Jesus. I destroy every plan of the devil in the name of Jesus Christ. Every word that was spoken against their success, I destroy it right now. I nullify every negative word that has been spoken against them in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray for them from this very moment. They are going to score high. They are going to become in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I declare this morning that they are mighty men and women in Jesus' mighty name because you have created a room for them to succeed. Father, I bless your name. I honor you because you are worthy. I honor you because you are able. Thank you, Master. Take over their lives and bless them, Jehovah God. I give you glory and I give you honor. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Thank you. 